Hi, my name is Sam Dhanesh Ekran and welcome to this FL Studio video series. In this video, let us take a look into a simple MIDI recording. Okay, so if you notice, I have a pattern which has four bars of drums. Let me play it. So now I want to add uh, one more instrument and play along with that. And probably after that I will record it. Okay, so I have an instrument already added. Now I'm going to play along with that. Before recording anything, you would want to play and make sure you know you are able to get it right. Okay, so I've added a instrument and I'm gonna first play along uh, with the rhythm and then I'll do the recording next. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to record this. How do I record this? First, you know, you select the channel that you want to record into. Just do a single left click. Uh, if it is already selected, then it's going to choose everything, which we don't want that. So click it again. Okay. Now next is click the record button. Okay. And uh, I just need the notes and the automation. Okay. And third thing is make sure this is in the pattern mode. If it is enabled, that's in the pattern mode. If it is not enabled, that's in the playlist mode. So when it is in the playlist mode and if you hit play when the record is on it will record directly on the playlist which i don't want it as of now i want the recording to happen in this channel okay and also in this playlist and i know i have four bars of rhythm okay so the record button is on okay and i have chosen this channel and it's in the pattern mode now i'm going to click play what will happen when I click play is it's going to start recording immediately, which I don't want. So let me enable the countdown before recording by clicking it. Okay. And if you do a round right click, it will tell me how many pre-count bars it's going to give me. I just want one bar. Okay. Now I'm going to hit play. Now it's going to give me one bar and then it will start recording. Two, three, four. Okay, did you notice what just happened? Let me show it to you. Okay, so this is the instrument that I recorded. First bar, second bar, third bar, fourth bar, and I played one more note for the fifth bar and it recorded that also, which is fine, which is expected in this behavior because as long as I play, it's gonna keep on recording, okay? But there is a way where you can constrain your recording to a particular time period, which I'll explain later. Okay, so this is a simple recording. Okay, so basically, you choose the instrument that you want to record. And in my case, this would be the instrument. And also, I would do the recording in the pattern. So I have this enabled. And when I click the record button, I choose the notes and automation because I just need the notes and automation. And I also enable the countdown. Okay. Thanks for watching.